Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. Today I'm here with Brent, as I am in previous episodes. <laughs> Today, what are we discussing, Brent? We're talking about cultural festivals. Cultural festivals. Yeah, you've seen that in anime before, haven't you? I, I think I've seen a few of them in mm -hmm. anime, but I don't really know too much about them. What can you tell me? Well, they actually started from a national holiday called Culture Day in Japan, which is every November 3rd. Yeah, it's, it's designed as a day to celebrate art and culture and to promote that. And so schools now have a day once a year. It's usually on the weekend closest to November 3rd where the students are expected to promote culture, if you will. Wow. Yeah. What, uh, what, what schools are these? Are these uh, middle school? It goes from nursery school all the way up to universities. The whole age range. Yeah. Now, of course, it'll be a little different. So at a preschool, it's a little more like show and tell of what the kid's done over the course of the year, things along <laughs> those lines. Whereas in university, it'll be more like demonstrations of different clubs and activities and what they're doing. Um, so it definitely depends a lot on the um, on what they're doing. We often see in anime a high school cultural festival, and in that it's usually either a class or a club showing off um, uh, what they do, basically. So, uh, who who can attend these? Is it just the people who go to that school, or so? Uh, generally, they're open to the public. Um, it does depend school to school, and generally speaking, you know, at elementary schools or nurseries, you're not going to see. A lot of people coming in for those but uh, definitely as uh, the age ranges go up yeah, anyone is open to the public anyone can stop by and part of the idea too is to show off culture it, it's a it's an event for the neighborhood to, uh, that the the students are doing for those folks in the neighborhood what what, what kind of uh, what kind of events occur at one of these. So to understand that, um, it, it helps to understand how Japanese schools are different. Mm -hmm. So in a Japanese school, you're in the same classroom all day. You don't have different classes in different rooms, which means that you're with the same group all day, every day. <laughs> um, so as a result, if you're, well, because your class does have to put on something for culture day, you have to decide what you're going to do, what, mm. that, what that, that, that's going to be. And because you don't all share the same interests, it's got to be something fairly general. Mm. So a lot of cases, it's a cafe, often a themed cafe, a made <laughs> cafe, uh, potentially. Uh, it might be a haunted house. Mm. You might do fortune telling. Um, you might um, put on a little play, for example. So you might say, we're going to do Romeo and Juliet in our class. The theater. Right. And then you'll also have the various clubs. So there are go clubs and poetry clubs and drama clubs and anime clubs and fiction clubs and you name it all sorts of clubs anything that you have for a club mm -hmm. culture yeah so um, they'll they will also do their own uh, event there and that's usually themed more to what the club does so if you're a drama club you'll put on uh, a little drama it might be a play that you write or um, an existing play whatever you want to do so a demonstration of your craft whatever that happens to be and right how you've been spending your time and Contributing to culture as a mm -hmm. as a whole and also demonstrating what you've learned so it, it part of the idea too is that you know these clubs are partly funded by the uh, By the school Let's prove that we're actually making use of our time by uh, showing that off at a cultural festival uh, Now often the like the sports clubs aren't going to be much in uh, in evidence except for things like an archery club or a kendo club oh. They could certainly put on a demonstration for that that would be neat to see. Sure would, yeah. So, so one of the interesting things, um, going back to the, the, the previous question, uh, being open to the public, is that often like parents will use a culture day as a way of checking out a high school for their middle school age or elementary school age kid. Oh, that's a good idea. You can see what kind of activities the students have been involved in mm -hmm. and how they're progressing. Hmm. Yeah, you can walk around the school grounds, get a feel for how that is, how well kept it is, etc. Uh, and then also, if you are a student planning to go to that school in the future, you can also check it out, get a feel for it. Uh, and of course, also, if you, as we saw in Boogie Pop Phantom, if you happen to know somebody in the school of a, a similar <laughs> age that you happen to have feelings for, well, gosh, the gates are open. Oh, well, you know. Oh, here, here, here he or she is. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're, they're probably, they probably have to do something so they can't run very far. <laughs> Captives. Exactly, exactly. 
So, yeah, so you see a lot of these uh, these events, and th they range quite a bit. So they can be very. I mean, so obviously, anytime you have an event that is required, some people are going to get more into it than others, right? The, the music event, I take it, some people really like a musical piece. Mm -hmm. The the students who are motivated to form their own band, of course, performing their own songs, are probably going to be more motivated than the orchestra that. The teacher said you were going to play this, and so we were going to play this. <laughs> exactly. And especially with whatever your class has to do. So something we see a lot in anime is that, okay, it's time for the cultural festival. What are we going to do? I don't know. Ah, you know. Maybe we'll do this. Delegate we'll it to that. somebody else. Let them decide. Exactly. You know, uh, let's do a cafe. Well, mm -hmm. we did a cafe last year. Oh, so, um, choices. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and the other problem, too, is that, is again, if you're doing a... A class or a, a um, an event just for your class, you gotta do something general. There's nothing that everyone likes, so it's hard finding something that everyone's going to be motivated for. Well, now that's 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 tricky to think about. Now there's a class component to it, but there's mm. also the club component right. to it. What if a person is involved in a class, but yeah. then also is involved in a club? That's Do what they the, get double duty? Uh, usually, that's what the that's what the class rep is for. Um, <laughs> class rep, I can only make it for mm -hmm. from four o'clock to six. Right, so they've got to figure all that out and figure out uh, who's. Well, doing we what, need what somebody time. to make yakisoba for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, now, of course, the other side of that is that the, the the class event is not going to expect full attendance by everyone in the class. Hmm. Um, as we saw in that example, there were, what, you know, three or four um, maids and a couple of uh, girls doing yakisoba. So it's not that big of a, of a requirement. But, yeah, that, that is an issue, and you will see that as kind of a, a drama point. Of, oh, well, I'm supposed to do this and that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I suppose some, some students are more motivated and pull the weight of other folks, and uh, <laughs> other people are less involved and mm. take a back seat and watch the excitement <laughs> unfold. Exactly. And it's, again, like we said, it's, it's like anything in school. We've all had that where, okay, we have to do this thing. Some folks are going to be more involved than others. It's just the way it is. Um, and the Ministry of Education actually defines it as... Uh, Events which aim to use the results of everyday learning to heighten motivation. Oh. Hmm. Which is pretty broad, yeah. intentionally so. So you can interpret that a lot of different ways, uh, which is a nice thing. Again, it can be, here's what a cafe is like, or here's what literature is like. Hmm. You can really do whatever you want there. How, how long has this cultural festival been going on? Oh, gosh, decades. Um, so it actually goes back to the 1940s. Um, the first was in 1948. Um, after, for the uh, the Constitution, the new Japanese Constitution coming in, um, and then it became a, a standard thing, I believe, in the '60s, mm -hmm. as a uh, thing for for all schools to do. Now, now there's a little bit of flexibility because it has to be on a weekend, right? Sure. Yeah. Or, and so, or sometime when students can make it. <laughs> yeah. So different schools will have it on, on different days, depending. Um, I actually don't know if there's much. Um, then there, there probably has evolved a certain amount of work between different schools to say, okay, we'll do it on this day, you do it on that day. <laughs> I have kids in this school and in that school. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. what am I going to, I go over here, I go over here. <laughs> so probably over time that's kind of worked its way, worked itself <laughs> out. Um, and again, that's it's one of the, the things is that it is a standard thing in every school. Now, some schools may not do it. If you're a, a very private prep academy, you may have a different schedule, maybe a little different. But pretty much every school will have a cultural festival. So uh, if I vacation in Japan, it's uh, mm. the first week in November, around traditionally then, yep, around yep. the third. Mm -hmm. uh, could I wander into one of these? You should be able to, yeah. There's nothing stopping you. It's open to the public. Um, you, you know, obviously, don't cause any problems. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's perfectly okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm... I've got to get a flight then. Exactly. And go and check in. that out. Yeah, and go to any high school, walk in and uh, check out and see what, <laughs> see, what, see what they've got. And, you know, maybe, maybe they have an English club. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Practice a little bit. <laughs> Give that a try. Yeah, there we are. Well, thanks for joining us for this episode of Culture Shock. See you next time.